Dun 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 Dum 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 It was Christmas on the island of Soda. All the engines were working hard. Tom and Toby were busy carrying people and parcels down the branch line. Ding ding ding! Everyone was happy. Only the coaches and the caravan were complaining. It's always the same before Christmas Day grows. We feel so full. We feel so full. Oh, come on, Pastor Thomas. Where's your festive spirit? Christmas Day is almost here. By the side of the track was a lonely little cottage with a familiar figure waving to them. It's Mrs. Kindly, whistled Thomas. Peep, peep, happy Christmas. Thomas always felt better for seeing her. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without Mrs. Kindly. When work was over, Thomas went to see the other engines. All their coats had been polished. Huh, said Gordon, just look at us. Your driver will have to work fast to get you as smart as us. Uh, <laughs> Never mind that, replied Thomas. I've something important to say. Don't you realise it's a whole year? Since Mrs. Kindly saved us from a nasty accident. You remember when she was in bed and... Yes, of course, interrupted Edward. You told us how she waved her red dressing gown out of her window to warn you about a landslide ahead. And you and Toby gave her presents, Percy joined in. And the fat controller sent her to Bournemouth. To get thanked. But, said Henry and James together, the rest of us have never thanked her properly. Exactly, said Thomas. So now I think we should all give her a special Christmas party. All the engines were delighted, and the drivers and firemen were sure that the fat controller would agree, as well indeed he did. All the engines were busy making plans when silence fell. The fight controller had bad news. The weather's changed badly. This is kindly snowed up. Toby says he'll help to rescue her. You must help too, Thomas. There's no party unless you do. Thomas hated snow, but he said bravely, Yes, sir, I'll try, sir. We must rescue her. We must. That's a good engine. You and Toby will manage splendidly. Thomas barged a snowdrift. Sometimes he swept them aside, sometimes they stuck fast, and the men had to loosen them. Ding, ding, ding. But at the cutting near the cottage, they could go no further. <laughs> We're here, whistled Thomas. An answering wave came from an upstairs window. Then they all heard a familiar sound. A dum 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 That's Terence, said Thomas. He's come to help too. Terence had a snow plough and set to work making a path for Mrs. Kindly. At last the rescue mission was complete. Percy took the tired workman home. Terence said goodbye to Mrs. Kindly and promised to take care of her cottage as he watched them all set off. Ding, ding, ding. Thomas and Toby made good time. Four, four. No more snow had fallen, but the yard was dark. Thomas's heart sank. <laughs> Suddenly, all the lights went on. What a marvellous sight awaited Mrs. Kindly. Well done, said the Fat Controller. I'm really proud of you all. Mrs. Kindly.
timely, especially thanks to the smaller engines. Thomas and Toby are old friends, she said. And now, Percy, you are my friend too. Percy was so pleased. Three cheers for Mrs. Kindly, she whistled. And all the engines whistled. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Ling! Thomas and his friends all thought it was the best Christmas ever, and Mrs. Conway thought she would be no place but here with them on the island of Sodor. Dun 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 dun